Hey guys, what's up? All right, I just colored my hair, which I'm not quite sure which video I'm gonna upload first, whether it's gonna be the detangling or um, my color video. But I'm going to use the Don't Be So Clingy. Um, this is step one from the Kimmy Tube, well, Love Naturals uh, line that was released a couple weeks ago. All right. Apply when wet. So but this is a lighter part to my hair, so it, this section doesn't normally tangle, but when I get into the middle and the back. So let's see. Um, and of course, I can't detangle all of this in one, so I have to split it up, but I'm still going to just apply it in this section here. And um, as I detangle, I would separate into smaller sections. Okay, so I'm just taking off the top. I hadn't used a detangler yet. And it's been two weeks since I washed my hair, so you guys see my um, dry scalp coming up. I have not pre I have not shampooed yet, so I just put in the color and um, rinsed it out. It smells good. It smells better than the leave-in. It smells. Lemony. I did see um, Arlene's video. I forgot what she said it smelled like. Um, it, yeah, I don't want time to look at it. Now, it did go on really well. See all this nuts? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh, Lord. I'm not going to even do that right now because it's pretty tangled up, but it did go on pretty well. Oh, shoot. Let's shed it here. Yeah. Got to make sure I don't snag my hair. What? <laughs> So this is kind of coming from this section. Oh. I'm telling you, when I wash my hair loose, this is a lot. I get a lot of that. Okay. Now this... have some nuts. I think I smell orange. Yeah. Oh, just rip the hair. No. I'm like very gentle with my hair, y'all. Hair, but it's fine here. So it has a tendency to not very easily. So this just limits my process. Last one. Okay, so it's all in, so let me read the directions. It says, for best results, apply to wet hair that has been separated into at least four sections, which I had more than four sections, then Gradually work products through each section of hair to help release shed, help release shed and tangled hairs. Rinse thoroughly, then continue to step two. Wash me gently, hair and scalp cleanser. Okay, so I don't have the cleanser, but I'm going to let it sit in my hair. Uh, I don't know, maybe half an hour. Okay, so it has been an hour.
Actually, let me start from the front so you guys can see. But my hair does feel good. Because I don't want for me to have like a lot of tangles in and I bash the products in. So I need to be fair. Now, I tried finger detangling. And I did that for a few months. And then what I realized is that my hair was... My hair was being tangled up at the roots, so I wasn't detangling my hair properly that way. So I stopped that. Prior to that, I was detangling with my brush, and I was detangling with several different combs. So what I started doing, and I would say in the last two months, that's why I didn't really want to record a detangling video because it was evolving, you know? So, so I detangle this and then I follow by this to make sure that I get all the, the knots. Now I can't go smaller than this. Alrighty. Tangled mess. I'm gonna put a little bit more in that section. Get some water. But can y'all see, like, my hair is even, sh it's shiny, it makes my hair shine. Okay, let me put a little bit more water, y'all. I can't just tell. See? All from washing it loose. But it could be worse, so definitely would have been worse from rinsing it and then putting the bantu knots, then putting this in with my good old little time doing it. And then, with this in it, it feels really good, y'all. It really does. All right, so again, in my opinion, but I just take my time. on the ends. Can y'all hear it? It's not that bad. I see shedded here falling. Or oh, this one was from the comb. Okay. And one other thing from the event that I went to on Saturday, say if you tend to head a grip here tightly and then just Detangle like that, and then work your way up as you hold. Then go further up and hold, but I'm not tender heavy. <laughs> but you know what? When you do this and go do like that and then go up, it seems like the detangling is better. Y'all, y'all see how easy that was? Let me get in this root here. Let me get in this root. Okay. So, it would look like it's detangled, right? But, the true test is if when I take this, if it runs through it. And it doesn't run through it. See that? There's still some in there. And that's with my hair. So, you guys detangling with the big combs, that's not enough for me because it still didn't get to all of it. So I have to go a little smaller. Oh, no, I'm kidding me. I did this side over here. <laughs> uh, and I still have the back to go. Mahana killed me. But you know what? No lie. I really like this product. See, I could just detangle a come on and be like, oh man, whoop, whoop. yeah, it feels good. Yeah, it does feel good. 
and yeah this comb really hitting at it right but y'all I'm sorry I know some of you guys will be like oh don't use small combs or whatever I want to make sure my hair is detangled properly because I wear my hair loose all the time okay so I got to make sure that my tangles are out if my tangles aren't out I'm walking around with loose hair recipe for disaster okay so I got to make sure I go through so I know people are gonna leave comments oh you're not supposed to do this listen say that to somebody else okay I'm doing what works in my hair <laughs> oh you're not supposed to do this you're not supposed to do that like all I'm trying to do is share what I'm doing over here you know and yeah I will oh oh I'm detangling small with this whole big thing You know, this is a loose texture in my hair, but still, it was knotted. So loose section is easier to get knotted because it's so fine. Wow. But y'all can still hear it, right? It's not gliding through, but typically I wouldn't be able to do this. Let me try getting all this side. Yeah, but I got to make sure that I detangle properly. So, yes, I'm using a small comb on 4B here. Okay. My hand is, like, tired, y'all. And you know what I don't like? Like, there's no space so you can actually see where you are. Like for this price, it better last me long and it don't seem. I seem I think I'm using too much. So I need to make this thing stretch because I think it was like $13. But can you hear it? Make sure there isn't any. Okay. I don't want to pull. So what I learned, you go like this. I'm doing it too rough, right? And then you go up a little bit more. See, it makes it a little bit better. And up a little bit more. You can see the bead of beads forming at the end. Yeah, I said bead of beads. Yeah, I said it. It's not a negative in my book. Some people see it as a negative, but you know what? They used to give me like some of them. The, the you know I'm not talking about the hater raids. The ones hating with the messed up weave that or wig that is not even straight on their head, and they looking at me with that look on their head, and I'm like, look at your head with the the zigzag weave, or not weave but the wig that's not even sitting right on your head. And you try to look at me with all my hair. <laughs> but the longer my hair gets, the more people compliment me on my hair. The bigger it gets. But don't y'all hate those like and I'm not hating on everybody who wear weaves and wigs. But just for the ones that's hating on me. Like, I'm not hating on you. Why do you have to hate on me? You know, I just don't get that. Okay, guys. So I'm doing the last section in my hair. Which is a section that is the toughest section of my hair to detangle. This part right here. It's also the shortest section in my hair. It's a section in my hair that had gotten um, eaten out. Because, you know, when I had the perm and this whole section had gotten eaten out in the middle right here. So this one never really grows like everything else. I think I've mentioned that before. And I've been detangling it now for a while. So it, when I say a while, like a few minutes, it's still tangling up. So it's better now can y'all hear it 
I said the shortest section, you see here, compared to here, and this part is twisted. Okay, so it never, this piece here never grew like everything else. That's what the prime did to me. <laughs> but, see how it's still, it's being stubborn, y'all. So it passed this comb test, the one under my hands. You see that? Yes. So that's what I mean by I can comb my hair and keep my hair detangled. But I might still miss some knots. And like I said, with wearing my hair loose, I can't afford for that to stay that way. Ugh. So I have to twist up this bad boy quickly, otherwise it just not up. This is the stubbornest part in my hair. Finger test. I just always, you know, go through, and make sure there's I got everything. You think I can let this loose? Like one minute from wet, I'll have about a thousand knots. Big bird. <laughs> Obama is a trip boy. My toughest section, just so you have an idea. Of what my hardest section is to detangle. So you guys have seen the good and the bad part. This <laughs> section right here. Product did cut my hair down. It did leave my hair. Look at that. Like I haven't oiled it or anything. You guys can see the shine. Um, it's it's a good product. Okay. Um, and I would recommend it as a just off of a first impression. So I'm going to wait until I use it probably about, you know, a month or two, I'll come back and give my final impressions after I see if it can improve my routine some. But as far as my first impression, I really like it. I really like the way that it smells in comparison to the um, Love Me and Leave Me, which I'm going to save my review on that. Yeah, it smells... Like um, the, that lemon cake. So I really like it. I really like it. And I would recommend it just based off my first impressions. So uh, I'll let you all later. Bye, guys.